Меньше чем за месяц видео про веселого каратиста Василия Козлова набрало на нашем канале миллион просмотров. В связи с чем мы решили выпустить для вас еще один ролик об этом парне и его поединке, который прошел в том же 2018 году, спустя несколько месяцев после дебюта. И да, вы можете еще раз написать в комментариях, что худо это не карате. 15 декабря 2018 года в Казахстане прошел турнир Evan Challenge Битва в Атарау. После сверхудачного и зрелищного дебюта в Rage Man Global, победитель множества различных турниров по кудо Василий Козлов получил еще один шанс показать свой талант и мастерство. На этот раз его соперником стал призер чемпионата Украины по смешанным единоборствам Георгия Кашвили, чей профессиональный рекорд насчитал две победы в трех боях. Стили этих соперников были полностью противоположными, и зрителя ожидало классическое противостояние ударника и борца. Друзья, как вы уже заметили, турнир М1 богаты на самые невероятные исходы, зрелищные поединки и жесткие нокауты. Мы собрали для вас лучшие бои в нашей 23-летней истории и каждый день публикуем новое видео. Поэтому, чтобы не пропустить очередной шедевр из мира ММА, обязательно подписывайтесь на наш канал и жмите колокольчик, чтобы быть в курсе всех обновлений. In the lightweight division, Vukash Vozanski in charge of this one. Vasily Kozlov in the blue corner from St. Petersburg, Russia. 21 years of age, undefeated, former karate fighter turned MMA. Red corner for Georgi Akashvili, 21 from Georgia, fighting out of Ukraine. A wrestler, the clue is in the left ear. Yeah, you striker versus grappler here, but Kozlov, like you said, what an unbelievable striker with that karate background. There we go. Oh, that just missed the mark. Nice sprawl. He defended that takedown, but he still got a single. Look for that guillotine, single leg takedown here, fast paced start for Akashvili and Kozlov. Yeah, Kozlov more so using that guillotine as a takedown defense. Oh, he's got it wrapped up nicely. Oh, head comes out now. Akashvili did well to get his head out. Kozlov will want to break free. Looking for the knees on the inside. Akashvili trying to control here in the tie up. Kozlov trying to turn with that left underhook and get off the ropes. Yeah, Kozlov does not want to be here. Albeit he knows he's grappling, he knows his ground game, he knows he's standing clinch work like this, but where he's comfortable is with the striking. I mean, he went 360 on that spinning back kick and nearly hit him in the face. Unreal. He's pushing hard against the knee, the pressure on that knee as well. Kozlov needs to break free. Kick on the exit there with the lead leg from Kozlov back to center ring. Oh, nice. Akashvili is backing off, he's waiting for Kozlov to come forward so he can shoot. Well, he had his chance there, he had his opportunity. There we go. Fast kicks there from Kozlov. Akashvili, as predicted, gets the Finally takedown. Finally gets the takedown. A lot of hard work, took him two minutes. And a lot of cardio. And a good few leg kicks as well. Georgi Akashvili, with a pedigree in wrestling, knew what the challenge was going to be. And it's always intriguing when you see two young guys that have come from different sports coming into MMA with not much on the record. I'm not sure what he's trying to do there, but twice he picked them up and slammed them on the floor. It, it, all you're going to do is burn yourself out. There wasn't any sort of tactic to it. Was he trying to relieve the underhook, perhaps? Break the grip? I couldn't see what Kozlov had tied up. I think his hands were maybe tied up. Well, if, you, if, if you're a wrestler and you can't get your hands out from there, there's a big problem. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's a big, big problem. And the tactic of picking somebody up and slamming them on the floor is not the way to do it. He might have been trying to work towards the edge of the space. I don't know. Oh, went for the ground and pound, got his arm caught in the rope. Short punches here. Akashvili getting that takedown before the midway point of the fight, and there is nearly the pass. Nearly the pass. Gets to his knees, though. Attempts to get to his knees. Oh, he rolls to the knee bar, misses it. 
Stuck inside control, 90 seconds on the clock yet. Akashvili keeping that position that he wants. Well, he gets back to his feet, great work. I'm impressed with the takedown defense and survival skills of Kozlov, he's very well coached. Oh, oh, he had a nice deep guillotine there, he could have locked it up, but he didn't. Well, you can have all the stand-up skills in the world, you can be the best striker in the world. If you can't defend the takedown, that striking ability means nothing. So obviously this is something he's been working on, albeit he's on his back now, but his defense has been pretty good. He hasn't really taken any significant strikes, so to speak, from Akashvili. Well, Akashvili, which... He keeps putting his hands on the mat, that's why he's getting his arms trapped up like that. But it's so easy to, to, to escape that kind of grip. I don't know why he keeps picking his opponent up and slamming him. It's not the hardest grip in the world to get your hands out. Now let's just see if he puts his hands back on the canvas. He's controlling the bicep this time. Ten seconds here in Ati Rao. And a welcome, I'm sure, end to this round for Vasily Kozlov, who wants to get back to the upright. Yeah, Agashvili definitely took this round for me. Top dominant position. And I didn't really see much from Kozlov, apart from that spinning heel kick right at the beginning. Takedown defense was okay. Obviously not perfect, because that's how we ended up on the mat. But yeah, definitely Agashvili taking the first round. Yeah, I was going to say, and he got that takedown two minutes not even in, so... It was a well-timed performance. Uh, that, though, was the opening strike of the fight. Vasily Kozlov turning. Here we go. He actually hit a machine. Yeah, I, I, I kind of glimpsed past his chin. And this is when Akashvili was able to switch gears and get that takedown going from the single to the double. Tapping that knee and just turning him over. Couldn't really do a whole lot from these positions. And you have to say, Akashvili did a good job of holding him down, but really not much else. Some good short punches to the body. Vasily Kozlov able to defend most of the worst of those strikes, but Akashvili was able to pass the guard. Well, if I was in the corner of Kozlov, I'd be saying, forget the spinning kicks, forget the spinning back fists, stick to the hard, fast kicks, low kicks that can get you back into your stance quicker than normal, because this guy, as soon as you turn, he's gonna run at you and grab you. Yeah, the key thing being not breaking stance, right? Exactly. So, two of three here, potential five more minutes on the clock. Kozlov in the blue, Akashvili in the red. Again with a spinning. As soon as you spin, you've got to close the gap and get a chance to be grabbed. Albeit he got out of that one. Not this time though, double in the guard. And he really loaded up on that leg kick. Stutter stepped into it. It wasn't like Akashvili didn't know that kick was coming. Akashvili now on top, open guard. One butterfly hook in play. Yeah, that butterfly nearly got him over as well, but not quite. Again, he's keep putting his hands on the mat. It's a, it's a bad mistake. You put your hands on the mat, it's just going to wrap over the top like that each time. Like, sometimes there's a reason to fight for an underhook on the far side if you're trying to pass, for example, but he's just hanging out in guard and giving this guy a gift right now. Not, not in MMA. You, you, you will nuke me in MMA. I'm going to snap <laughs> your arm. I'll tell you that for nothing. You haven't seen my knee slice pass. Yeah, I'm going to elbow you in the face. I'm gonna, I don't care what kind of knee slice you've got. With a gi on, sure, I can appreciate that, but you will nuke my arm. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Challenge not accepted. Anyways, back to the upright here. Three minutes and 40 seconds to go. Kozlov looking to show the hands. Lots of upper body movements, some fainting and looking going on. Akashvili backing off. But it's worked because he's been able to kind of goad Kozlov out. Exactly, Chris. You're right. Every time he backs off, his opponent comes forward. When he comes forward at a fast pace, he closes that gap. Like now. Oh, he throws a punch, I thought he was going to shoot. Ooh, nearly caught him with that spinning kick. And he loaded up the left hook with it. And against, oh, maybe one too many. Maybe one too many, yes. Looks great in the highlight reel doing these kicks, but 
when you're up against the wrestler who you know is going to close that gap, it's a big risk to take. Potential mirror image of the last round. This is right about the point where Akashvili was able to convert to the mat. Couldn't get it this time. I think Akashvili's a little tired, to be honest. His nose is pouring the blood. His mouth is wide open. It's interesting to watch the footwork of Kozlov, much more on the balls of his feet compared to the flat-footed stance of Akashvili. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Well, confidence now coming for Kozlov. He can see his opponent is tired with mouth wide open. Again with that spinning kick, and again we get the clinch. Rolls in for the knee bar. He's got that leg lock position. Switches to go the inside of the hook. Oh, oh, that looked tight. That was close, Machine. Agashvili, he's got to grab the head and pull the head forward to release the pressure. I've seen, I've seen this heel hook somewhere before. <laughs> Deja vu with me and Frank Mir. You pull the head forward, it releases the pressure. They can't pull on the heel. Good reap here for Kozlov. He's got that knee line controlled. But every time he reaches for it, it will be at the cost of the ground and pound. Well, he's not giving up on it. He's going for it again. Oh, look at the grimace. He is trying with all his might to turn that heel. Takes a hammer fist for his troubles. It's been a constant battle of posture, control, punching, and attacking that heel. He would like to ideally be a little bit deeper in on the knee line, but he's got it. He could still finish this. The weight, though, of Akashvili and being forward like that, I think is saving it right now from being too exposed. And believe you and me, when that gets twisted, the knee goes as well, not just the ankle, the knee pops. The knee pops first, the ankle second. Well, we're down to the closing 10 seconds. Seconds to go here in this round. That is it. Ten minutes now between Kozlov and Akoshvili. Interesting round. I think Kozlov, though. I, I, d I don't know because he took a lot of punishment while he was going for that heel hook. He was on his back a lot. He took a lot. I mean, look at the look at the damage on his face as well. I know you can't say the person with the most damage on the face is the one that's losing, but in in this kind of respect, he took a lot of punishment on the ground with those hammer fists. So potentially, though, maybe doing enough work in the first two minutes on the feet, but then again, Akoshvili got the takedown. He did go for the heel hook, but did take a ton of punishment. Yeah, It was true. a close round. Very close indeed. And again, we've said it many times, Chris, it's hard to judge while we're commentating. Some people say, well, surely you can see more than what the judges, because you're commentating on it, you're talking about it. But, you know, we could be looking at different things. We could be talking about, a la, what we just said there. The Frank Mir fight with his yes, heel hook, it takes yes. your mind off what really what you're looking at and yes. you know, so you don't judge it as well when we're commentating. That was an interesting minute or so though, kind of caught in that 50-50 position where he was going for that heel hook, but in any case, we will see a third round. For me, Kozlov just has to kick very selectively and avoid all the spinning stuff. Yeah, he's been caught three times with those spinning back fists and spinning kicks. The distance has been closed and he's been taken down, so Surely he should think to himself, no more. Let's just stick to simple, basic kickboxing, stroke karate, and let's see if I can finish with punches and kicks. And Akashvili has proven to be a very tough guy. I and mean, he's taken some good shots, and he's still there. He was able to get the takedown even after getting clipped a few times in the first and the second. So yeah. Oh, double, nice sprawl, beautiful sprawl. Quick Kind that nice. Punish, sprawl, punish. In that order. When I was fighting, what I like to do if somebody shot on me is sprawl. 
and punish them for making making that shot. They would think twice about shooting again, whether I got back to my feet or stayed down there. Especially if they use energy and so on to go in and after you. Some people just sprawl and then stand back up, punish them. They, they yep. you know, they, they try to take you down, tell them that they're not going to do it again, make them pay for that. There's a long shot from the outside. Kozlov has to do more than this. He's winning this round, but I don't think he's winning the fight. He needs to pick the pace up, pick the shots up. Third time stuffed there. Akashvili going in. Couldn't that get anything. was heavy. That was a big, heavy shot. His cornerman's pointing to his leg, telling him to damage it. Oh, 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 good. Again, needs to get back up. He is deep in on that leg. Beautiful back step there from Kozlov, trying to get the sprawl. Pummels in for the underhook. Now wrapping the neck, dropping for oh, that guillotine. Oh, he's got it. He's got it tight. That, that looks, looks tight. very tight. Oh. Oh. oh! Well, that's the risk you take. Going for a, a submission, which puts you on your back. It did look very deep, so I can understand why he did that. Thought about attacking that arm. Akashvili put that right arm on the mat. Again, elbows on the mat. I, I just do not understand that. It has no benefit to MMA whatsoever. The submissions you can pull off, the sweeps you can pull off from there. The first thing I would do is go for an Uma Plata. At least then, even if, even if you don't get the Uma Plata on, you're, you're out of a bad position. Go for Kamura, grab the arm. Well, he's trying to get back up. Akashvili trying to find something here. Two minutes to go in Ati Rao. That forward pressure here. Akashvili walking forward, trying to shut down those hips. If he could ride this out, there could be a case for him winning this yeah, fight. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Kozlov is doing so well on his feet there, trying to go for the arm. If he doesn't get up within the next 30 seconds, I think he's left it a bit too late. But the referee is actually telling Agashvili to, to work, or he's going to stand it up. Akashvili trying to tie up those legs, lasso things up, slow the pace. He needs to grab the knee with his left arm. Now he's got decided to go for a single. Tries to run the pipe, can't quite get it. He's tired too, he's very tired. Very tired, look, he looks across to his corner. They ain't gonna help you, my friend. It's just you and him. Kozlov corner is furious. They want him to attack that leg every single time, every leg kick. My Russian is not very good, but I'm hearing da, da, da. Well, he's gonna go for broke 45 seconds. Yeah, someone's going to be limping on that leg tomorrow. Akashvili trying to protect that lead leg. You can see him square his stance up, Machine. Those, those kicks, those low kicks have been very effective. I think Kozlov may go for... Oh, he hurt himself there. He caught his knee. Kozlov may go for a final spinning kick, kick I think. Right at the closing seconds. Knockout. Three seconds in the third round left to go. Here we go with the replay. It's a beautiful uppercut, I think. Boom! It's a left hook coming from the bottom. Oh my goodness. Talk about an unbelievable performance. He went out there potentially losing this fight machine three rounds deep, seconds to go, and he gets the knockout win. It was a right uppercut. I apologize. My excitement. It looked as if it came low like an uppercut, but it came from the side and then rise up to the right hook. 
Well, the referee stopped it immediately as soon as his backside hit the canvas. Wow, that's what you call a finish. And Akoshvili was able to get the ascendancy and make sure that the ground game worked in his favor. That being said, Kozlov was able to find a lot of great trades, but Akoshvili was so tough. A surprising finish. Unbelievable. This is why I love the sport. The corner man is not happy. The corner man is having a word with the referee, sends only three seconds and you stop the fight. Well, we will get the official announcement, but I'm sure it's a KO win. So the corner here and our doctor making a quick assessment. Let's take a look at the replay here. We saw some just interesting traits, and there we go. That really sneaky, it was almost a corkscrew uppercut. Yeah, it's kind of like an uppercut, but comes round to the side. It comes from his... Yeah. Uh, look at the delayed reaction. It's as if, like, it hit him, and then all of a sudden, boom, I got a jolt in my face, my legs stiffen up, and I'm going down on my backside. It was unbelievable. He almost threw it from the hip machine. That punch just came in and swatted him. Vasily Kozlov by a third round knockout here in Ati Rao.